Hi, welcome guys. Uh, this is a, another uh, tutorial, and this is more a tips of uh, tips and tricks uh, for creating image effect while we are underwater. So we can create a first person character later, and and we can see that uh, we can change the 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 image effect uh, when the character goes underwater. So it will add more. Uh, Death to your game, so let's uh, try this. Let's start. Okay, so I've created a simple terrain over here, as you can see, and then I've imported a character, standard asset, a characters, and also environment. So, how uh, 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 how to do it? Just go to asset, <coughs> and then press import package. Choose characters, and after finish importing characters, choose environment. And then I set it a uh, terrain like this. And uh, if you not quite sure how to set up terrain, I uh, I'll put a link uh, below on the description, of linking to a terrain tutorial. And now I'm going to go to the characters and first person, and then go to the prefabs. And I'm going to use the rigid body first person character, and I'm going to put it here. So this is our player first person and I'm going to turn off our uh, camera or delete the camera save the scene and now let's try this now we have a first person uh, controller and if we go to the water below as we can see we we don't have any image effect applied so we are going to create that effect oh no I cannot go up anymore <laughs> it's too Okay, so let's set up the character. The thing, the movement, or okay, just try using shift when we when we fall into the water, and then hold shift. Yeah, we can go up by holding shift by running. So now let's import the post-processing stack first from the asset store so go to the asset store and search for post-processing stack post-processing stack and this is the post-processing uh, add-ons from unity and it's free so just download it and when we've, once we have finished download it it will import to our asset and a moment it is importing so when we have this window here just press import and yep yeah, just I made a backup okay is it finished yet? No, no. Yes, still compiling, still converting the asset. Okay, so now when we finish importing, we will have this post processing folder and go to our scene here and expand the rigid body FPS control. Go to its camera and we are going to add a post processing behavior component to it and let's create a new assets in our assets uh, window just create post processing profile and I'm going to name this normal with normal I'm going to uncheck all of the post processing uh, options and then I'm going to duplicate this duplicate and then I'm going to rename this one to underwater and in order to see this in effect we need to put this profile inside our post processing behavior that is on our camera and go to the game view and then we can change the settings here I'm going to enable depth of field here and then I'm going to set the focus distance to zero so everything will be blurry and I'm going to not increase I uh, think that should be okay but okay I'm going to change the focal length so 
it's not as blur as that make this maybe not 10 uh, 20 uh, 20 is too blurry I think 12 would be good and save the scene and now we are going to enable the color grading change this to filmic and under the trackballs I'm going to set the mid tone the power here to a bluish color so it is like underwater and I'm going to set the main camera back to our normal profile okay so save the C and now let's create a script that will switch the profile change post process and the script will handling changing this uh, two profile whenever our prayer is outside of the water or inside uh, the water so open the script and okay this way is still preparing okay now I open it and then I'm going to increase our font size so it's more readable okay so now in order to access our uh, post processing we need to using the unity engine dot post processing and once we add this uh, uh, library we can use or we can we have this type post processing profile available to us and I'm going to the normal profile and effects profile and we are going to create a private variable that are going to hold our post processing behavior component uh, which is camera image FX and this variable will hold our post processing behavior component that resides on our camera and since there is only one post processing behavior on our scene we can use the find object of type so I'm going to grab the component from the start and use the find object of type and put type inside the angle bracket and close it with a set of parentheses since this is a method and save this and then I'm going to delete this update and now we are going to put this component to a trigger box or a trigger area a, a set of uh, box collider without any mesh so it is uh, invisible but once uh, the player uh, triggered that box we can set the effect that uh, to the image effect that we wanted to activate so just use the trigger enter uh, method and I'm going to set the parameter collider to call and uh, this is basically a method that gets triggered whenever uh, another object triggered the collider that resides in this uh, game object script and we can get the information that uh, that collides uh, the, the, colli uh, the object that collides with, with this game object uh, from this call here so we can just type if call compare tag so we check the tag if the tag is player then we can do something here so what I want to do is to set the profile of our camera image FX which is the post processing behavior that is on our camera to the effects one and I'm going to copy all of this code here and then paste this below and change this here to exit so whenever the player leaves the trigger area and then I want to set this back to normal okay that should be all save the script and go back to unity and now we can create an empty collider uh, empty game object here and I think I'm going to create an empty as a child of this water component here 
and I'm going to name this water area and add a box collider and there you go we have this box collider and set this to trigger and then I'm going to put this slightly below the water maybe here around that area and later we are going to tweak this value here so it should be okay and now we need to add this script the change process process that we have created and set the normal to the normal processing uh, post process uh, slot here and the underwear to the effects that we want to so this are the post process profile that are going to get activated whenever the player tri uh, triggered the box the box collider and this is the post processing profile that are going to activate it whenever the player leaves the box collider so let's save this and let's uh, give the rigid body FPS controller uh, player a tag of player save this and let's try it here if we go down uh, as you can see here the image effect starts working and it's look like that like we are underwater and if we go up it's it's back to normal but there is a problem here whenever we try to move this uh, as you can see here the image effects is already gets applied so we need to go to the water area and then I'm going to push this downward on the y-axis and try to move this again okay there is a problem here since we are already underwater but the image effect is not working so I'm going to adjust the value here to something uh, like 0.62 so let's move this yeah I think that should be okay and whenever we go inside the water or we can just change this to a minus 0 0.6 and there you go as you can see here whenever we go inside to the water we have this image effects applied likely uh, like we are wonder water and whenever we go out it goes back to normal yep so I hope this uh, tutorial is uh, quite clear and you find this uh, useful if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it okay see you on another episode thanks for watching bye